Creating your very first D&D character can be exciting and scary at the same time. The good news is that this excitement never really goes away, but the fear does. With every new character you're going to create in the future after this first one, you'll probably be as excited as you are on day one, but you will not be fearful anymore because you will have more experience with the game, you will know the rules better, and you will be able to make better decisions based on your past experiences. The problem is that this fear may keep you now from enjoying the process of creating this character, so that's why I am here with 6 plus 1 tips to make this process easier for you. And I will jump straight into it with my plus 1 tip. I call it plus 1 because it really should go without saying, but my past experiences have taught me that it is worth mentioning. And that is to be in the right headspace when you decide to actually meet with your future DM or your fellow players and create your first character. That goes for the whole game as well, but let's keep it for the character creation right now. Being your very first character probably means that someone is helping you with that. If not the whole group, maybe your DM is specifically focusing on you in order to have a good experience with that. That means that they are spending their time to help you, to make this process easier for you, to give you tips and probably guide you to make the best decisions for your future character. So be respectful of their time. Make sure that you don't have distractions around you and you're totally focused on them. Have a cup of coffee before that so that you're able to focus and actually listen to them because the rules can be intimidating at the beginning and it's annoying to have someone on the other side of the table who is not focused and listening and thinks of other things when you're trying to explain something to them. I understand that not everyone has the same ability to focus for long periods of time, so communicate that with whoever is helping you create this character. But other than that, trying to be as focused as possible and present as possible, having your phone on the side without checking your emails and your messages all the time is very helpful for whoever is spending their precious time to help you create this very first character. Before I get into the main tips of this video, I think it's worth mentioning, since you're probably beginners, that character creation in D&D has two main aspects to it. One of them is the technical stuff. The race you pick, the class, your skills, your abilities, all the math involved in playing the game. The other side is the story behind your character, your background, which will probably affect your personality as well, and both of these aspects are intertwined. So, Keep in mind that every decision you make while creating this character will affect the playstyle later on. Now let's finally get to the actual advice of this video. Tip number one would be to stay in your comfort zone. D&D is a great game to get you out of your comfort zone and to get you to try new things that you wouldn't dare try in real life. But for your very first character, I would say that it is good to stay relatively close to your own personality and to what really feels good to you. I'm saying that because you will be busy learning the rules of the game and the technical stuff and getting acquainted with your new uh, friends and players in the DM. So having also to adjust to a very to a personality and a character that is way out of your comfort zone can be very challenging. In the future, your characters will probably be very different from your very first character, but for now I would advise you to stay in your comfort zone and to pick what feels good and safe to you, just to give you the space and the calm to actually understand the rules and to be able to be relaxed around the table. Keep in mind that the choices you will make now will probably be with you for the long run, especially if you're joining a campaign, so it's good to be 100% sure that you can enjoy the character you'll be playing. On the same note, my tip number two would be to not create a spellcaster as your first character. Now, I don't like the idea of having someone tell you what you should or shouldn't do when you're creating a character, but I think it's worth knowing at least that spellcasters are much more difficult than other classes to play, especially as a beginner. If you're up to doing the extra work of reading your spells and understanding some extra rules while playing a spellcaster, of course go for it. If you've played other RPGs or even video games in the past, it can be easier to understand the concept of spellcasting. And of course, if you hate everything else and spellcasters are the only ones who look nice and convenient to you, go for it. Just keep in mind that it is some extra work and that you should spend that extra time to understand because it's your job after all. It's not anyone else's job to explain everything to you and I'm 
I'm sure they will help you, but if you take on some extra work, make sure you're up to it and you're willing to do it. That's all. Tip number three would be to avoid disruptive personalities. What I mean by that is that even though, again, you should play whatever you enjoy playing and no one should tell you how you should play, it's good to keep in mind that your fun shouldn't ruin everyone else's fun. Having a character that's rude to everyone around them may be fun or funny to you, but if the rest of the players are uncomfortable with that, you can ruin everyone, everyone else's fun pretty easily. Again, every table is different and there are people who enjoy player versus player character conflict, but other tables don't encourage that and don't like that, so make sure you check with your fellow players and your DM before you decide to go for something like that. Also, if you have role played in the past as well and you're a more experienced player, it's easier to overcome that conflict in nice ways that will develop both your character and other characters. But if you're just a beginner, it may be hard to find that balance of being a little bit disruptive and not all good character while not ruining everyone else's fun. On the same note, my tip number four would be to give your character a reason to be in that group. Creating a loner type that doesn't want to work with others and hates everyone around them may sound fun on paper because we see them on the movies all the time, but it is not paid for a cooperative game and for working with others. Don't make others try to pull you in the group and make the effort for you. Give your character a reason to like others, maybe, to have a reason to work with them, maybe even establish some connections with the other character players before the game. Just make sure that your character is designed to fit the game that your game master has prepared for you and to want to go on an adventure with other people. This foundation will make it much easier for you to transition from an individual adventurer and character to a part of a group of other people who have created characters for the same reason. Tip number five would be to communicate with your future DM and find out what type of game they're playing. Now, that should probably be done on their part to let you know what their expectations are and how the group is playing so far, but if they don't or if you start creating your character before that, you may find yourself in a little bit of a weird situation. For example, if they are playing a combat-heavy campaign with just dungeon crawls and fight after fight and you sit down and create a 25 page background that will never come up in the game and no one will ever care for it, you may be disappointed. If you know beforehand that this is not the type of game they are playing, you either decide not to join them if you don't find that fun or you know that you need to create a different type of character and you don't need to spend time creating that 25 page backstory unless you totally enjoy it. Same goes for more humorous versus more serious campaigns. If you create a very serious and deep and dark background and you find yourself within a campaign that is meant to be humorous and silly, again, you may be disappointed and you probably won't have as much fun. But if you know these things beforehand, you can adjust your character choices to that and make sure you have the maximum amount of fun with the type of game that is prepared by your DM. Finally, my tip number six would be to stay calm. When you first look at your character sheet, you will probably not understand half of what is on there and it is going to be intimidating and you might want to run away very fast, but don't. I promise you the process of understanding those very first rules and what all these numbers mean is quite fast and after a couple of sessions you will understand what's going on in there, but at the very beginning it can be extremely intimidating. So stay focused, stay calm, and go for it. And that's all I had for you today. I hope this advice today will make your very first character creation much smoother and less fearful, and I hope you will create many more characters in the future while playing D&D. If you found this video useful, please leave a thumbs up before you go and consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, be safe, be happy, and keep going for your dreams.